Hello there, everyone. It's the Nutcase Casey Nicole back again on the Nutcase Network with the shenanigans. As always, thank you so much for visiting again to my channel. If you're already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and pat yourself on the back, god dang, while I get my words together. What the fuck? I was going to say, if you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that like button. Turn on post notifications. And just be caught up on all my shenanigans. Today we have your twin flame check in. We will be using the Mystic Bees official, not official, unofficial deck. God damn it. Y'all are this group, okay? Because I already did one. It went kind of smooth. But you guys are, you guys are getting confused about something. Like, it's something that's confusing you guys or throwing you guys off about this connection that you guys are in. But we're going to be using Mystic Bees twin flame conversations and secrets like i was trying to say to get your twin flame messages today from the person who you believe to be your twin flame where you guys might be in separation or you may not but remember the messages are general so go with what you know there's no particular sign in this reading whenever you're drawn to the reading is when you're meant to receive the message remember that okay there's nothing wrong with collective readings it just means that there's a lot of people going through the same thing right now and with um I think Mars is in retrograde. It's like everybody's energy is just really drained. So it's a lot of the same mutual energy going around. But I feel like I just needed to say that. Once we do these messages, we're going to do some messages from the tarot to clarify. Okay, guys? So I hope you guys are doing amazingly well. And I hope you enjoy this message. Guardian Angels, what twin flame messages are there for the collective, for the viewers who are watching this video now or who will be watching this video in the future guardian angels what twin flame what messages does their twin flame have for them or do they need to see wow so the first card out is stalking wow so i just did a reading on instagram um where this card came out the stalking card and also sometimes i wonder if you're better off without me came out on the instagram reading so you guys find um underscore nutcase tarot okay and you guys can see that reading on Instagram. But honestly, y'all saw me just shuffle the cards. So not sure what that's about. But someone is watching you guys, okay? Someone is stalking you guys. And they're watching you now um, because I believe you are in separation. And they're wondering if you're better off without them. I feel like this has been a long-term separation that you guys are in. This is not anything new. If it is something new, they're still wondering and watching you pretty much right now they're wondering if you'd be better off without them oh wow because you are the empress you're embodying this empress energy you've got your fucking shit together you're taking care of your household you're taking care of your kids your family even if you're a male you're embodying the emperor energy there's no gender in tarot but they see you i feel like they may think that you're too good for them or they they think that you're out of their league okay that's what i'm feeling right now with these messages um, they feel like they're out of your league. They said, take this one. So many things remind me of you. So this person is walking around outside just seeing birds and like, damn, that bitch used to have red hair. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just playing. Or damn, he used to wear that shirt. Like they're seeing people that remind you of them. They're seeing things that remind you of them. I feel like this person is stuck on you. I feel like they're regretting whatever separation that you guys are having right now. They're regretting this separation. They're regretting the situation. They say, I know I tore you apart, but the way you put yourself back together, it's beautiful. Wow. That's what I just said. They're regretting the situation and they're thinking about you constantly because they know they were wrong. They know that either they walked out on this connection prematurely or they treated you in a way that was not of your character. They did not treat you as the empress they know you are. You understand what I'm saying? When someone intentionally treats you other than what they know you deserve, that's a damaged person. And I think this person is realizing how damaged and fucked up they really are. Or they may not be that bad of a person really in their spirit, but they were acting that way. And they know that's just as bad. And that's what I'm really thinking. They wonder if you're better off without them because they know they take you through so much shit. Um, and that's why they're stalking you because, wow, you're giving off this muted energy. This person is muted. You're muted. You guys are in separation. You may not even know that you're blocked from this person, but you cannot get in contact with them even if you try 
or they cannot get in contact with you even if they tried, okay? And that's because you're vibrating, you're vibrating on such a high level. You know, when you vibrate on a certain level, guys, people who are on a lower level than you cannot reach you. You understand what I'm saying? That's why you're coming off as muted to this person. They don't know how to approach you. Okay, and that's why they're stalking you. It feels like they're stalking you even if they're not trying because every time they turn around, something that you guys used to do or some way that you used to dress or some way you used, something you used to say is coming up in their mind, okay? At the bottom of the deck is karmic lesson. So this person is going through some type of karmic lesson right now. They could possibly be dealing with someone or have left you for someone who is not of their best interest. You could have possibly warned this person that whoever you fucking with is not going to be better than me. I'm telling you right now, when they walked out that door, you told them, whatever you're dealing with, whatever you're doing, you need to understand where your heart really is. Because whatever the fuck that is, it's not what it's supposed to be. Or this could have been a karmic lesson for you guys. This person did not have your best interest at heart. You had your flowers out ready to give this person everything and they just wanted to break you down, okay? They say being without you feels like hell. So this person is literally going through the ringer right now because they have chosen to walk out on this connection. And I feel like when you walk out on a twin flame connection, you're basically shitting on the universe. You're shitting on God. You're shitting on your guardian angels because you're choosing to take something into your own hands that's not meant for you to take into your own hands you guys came together you tried to share your love with this person and they they broke it off with you they broke your heart okay you guys you found out some unexpected things or some unexpected situations happened with ooh within this connection oh my god there was a lot of tension between you guys i feel like you all had possibly had some arguments of some kind okay and it pushed you to, to to really think, you guys, you, you were thinking if this is really right for you. Is this really what I want? Is this really who I want to be with? And you could have possibly broke it off with this person. This person could have been in a higher level of commitment. You see the higher front card popping up here. Okay. Guardian Angels, what is the stalking card here? Why is the stalking card here? What other insight can you offer in regards to this stalking card for my collective? What other information can you provide in regards to the stalking card wow the empress again gotta be fucking kidding me so okay this could be a situation some of you guys not all of you guys but i feel like some of you guys could possibly be pregnant with this person's child for my women okay that's why they're seeing you in such a beautiful light not only are you just beautiful in general but you could possibly be carrying their child and you separated with them because you felt like they were a toxic influence on this child who will be coming into the world. You did not want um, the negativity surrounding your pregnancies, okay? Anything else on the stocking card, Guardian Angels, or the Empress card to clarify? Anything else on the stocking card or the Empress card, right? Because you were confused. You're confused right now in the situation that you're in. This person is coming off as having a lot of choices. Okay, this person is coming off as being confused themselves, which is ultimately leaking. Their energy is leaking over into your energy, okay? I definitely feel like this person made a bad choice. That's what I'm getting. This person made a bad choice. They chose one of these buckets that was either leaking. You see that bucket that's leaking right there? Or um, one of the, the snake coming out of this one. They made a bad choice in this situation. And now that's why they're watching you. And you definitely could have been the mother to their children if you're not pregnant right now. You could have had kids with this person. Or you could just be um, someone who is just a very regal, um, upstanding, classy um you know, for my men, you guys are, you know, you guys are not controlling. You're not abusive. You're the type of man, the ideal man that somebody would want to be with. But this person acted like they didn't know that. They acted like they weren't sure of that or that they gave you some type of, they, they made you question yourself because they were questioning themselves. Sometimes I wonder if you're better off without me, guardian angels. Why is this card here? Why is this? Why do they wonder if they're be, if if the collective is better off without them? 
Ten of Cups, Queen of Swords. So you got Cups energy here. Empress, I believe, is Libra. So I'm going to make sure real quick. Be patient. Sorry, I just want to make sure I'm giving you clear information. Venus, right. And Venus is Libra or Taurus. So, yeah, you could have been dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. I'm seeing cups here, which is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And I'm seeing swords, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, right? So, I feel like they were very cold towards you. Um, I feel like they wonder if they were better off without you because they feel like you have... I feel like they know that you're going to be able to have a cohesive family unit without them. Like, it's like your focus is the family. Your focus is having kids, being married. Even if that's not your particular goal, you just want to have a complete family, which you can trust and rely on, right? That's the 10 of cups, being happy where you live in, being happy in your home. And I feel like this person was you, you, okay, you want this Ten of Cups and you're not going to take any shit about getting it with this Queen of Swords. You clearly told this person that if you're not bringing this vision, if you're not going to see my vision and you're not going to work towards the same vision as me, then you are out. Okay, regardless of whatever family situation is going on. They feel like maybe the family is better off without them because they can be cold. They they lack to me emotions in the situation. And they don't believe in the family, I feel, as much as you believed in the family. Or they didn't, you know, they didn't fight for it as much as you fought for it. I'm s i am just feel like they were really cold and rigid and turned their back on this family situation. Because they could have possibly been dealing with other people. There could be another pregnancy going on right now, unbeknownst to you. Or it was unbeknownst to you. Now you have found out about it. So that's why this person is stalking you because you cut them out of their life. But either way, they were not showing their emotions. And I feel like they were communicating very harshly towards you guys, okay? They could have definitely got into arguments, started arguments with you. And you didn't know where this was coming from. You didn't know where the hostility was coming from. That's what I'm getting as well. Okay, what's this Empress card? Why is the Empress card here? The original Empress card for my collective. Because you're holding back now. Okay, you're holding back four pinnacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy, more Taurus. So I really believe this person is a Libra or a Taurus that you're dealing with. But... They know that you're trying to hold on to everything you have. Things are not easy for you. Just because you've created this, just because you have this Empress energy and you've created this persona, which is not fake, but you've created a shield to protect you against outside forces. I feel like that's what this Four of Pentacles is. They know you're holding back from them now. They do not have access to you the way they used to have access to you because you're trying to keep this family together with or without them. Okay, what else is the Empress card here for? Or the Four of Pentacles? Let me know clearly. Why is the Empress card here in terms of the Four of Pentacles guardian angels? Why is the Empress card here in terms of the Four of Pentacles guardian angels? Why is the Four of Pentacles? Okay, so this... The Queen of Pentacles, right. And the Fool card. So those are the two that did not want to go back in i feel like in this situation you are holding back because like like i said you're maintaining you're 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 coming off right here as a wife you guys may be the earth energy towards virgo capricorn you guys are coming off as this wife this mother okay you guys are taking care of your household you make you you make good money wherever you work whatever you do whether it's your home business your um business that you run you know on a daily basis or your job you are taking care of fucking business period you're making good money okay and you're holding on to whatever you have you're clipping coupons bitch okay you're on the kroger app clipping the damn electronic digital coupons you at sam's club you got your damn sam's club car buying in fucking bulk because look at all this stuff right here this is all her bulk items from 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 sam's you get what i'm saying or bj's or whatever and you got your wallet white right here with all your coupons in it, all your different credit cards. You might flip a few things on the credit card, rob Peter to PayPal, 
but you're holding on to it and you're keeping it together. You're keeping together. You, you, the flow is moving the way you need it to move because you're always on your shit. You make sure your I's are dotted and your T's are crossed. And also the food card came out. The food card means that you, to me, in this situation are trusting in your intuition. You guys, which the food card is Uranus, which is... Uranus is Aquarius. So you guys are pretty much trusting in your intuition. You know the right choices to make and you know that you're going to allow for the universe to take control of your life and you're not going to fight it. You're going to do the best that you can with what you can, but you're not going to fight anything that happens. Like if this person wanted to walk away, for example, you're going to let it happen because you're not going to force anybody to do anything. You don't reach an empress status or an emperor status by trying to control the situation. You've released control and you're allowing the chips to fall where they may, okay? That's what I'm that's what I'm feeling. And I definitely feel like this person could now be at a distance from you or being very distant. You guys are in separation right now. They definitely want to come back towards you. They say so many things remind me of you, guardian angels. Why is this card here? Ooh. Because they see families all the time, Ten of Pentacles. They could possibly um, work in a career where they are using their hands, okay? They could work in a career where they are a, a carpenter or a construction worker or a builder. Or they, they build things up, I feel, in their work, whatever it may be. But it's like... They are continuously reminded. For whatever reason, I felt like I needed to speak about their work. Something with their work has to do with seeing other families like happy, happy together or seeing couples or relationships. What's this Ten of Pentacles? What's the Ten of Pentacles, Guardian Angels? What's the Ten of Pentacles? Something to do with their work where they see they're constantly reminded of happy families. I just keep getting that. They're constantly reminded of happy families at work. Okay. <laughs> And you got two, t it's like they, they want to feel complete. So many things remind you, remind them of you because they are at a point in their life where they want to be complete. Okay. What well, clearly guardian angels, one card to clarify the 10 of Pentacles. One card to clarify so many things remind them of, right. Knight of Cups. Yeah. They want to apologize. I'm feeling like they definitely want to bring you these flowers. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio again. This person is wanting to apologize to you for letting this family situation be broken apart. They're, it's eating it's eating away at them more than what you think. I know I tore you apart, but the way you put yourself back together is beautiful. They feel that Empress energy. Why is this card here? Right, because they're reminiscing. They're remembering all the good times that you guys had. They're remembering... The children that you possibly had together, the pets that you had together, the family unit, okay, with this Six of Cups. This is what they thought it was going to be, but for whatever reason, they fell short, okay? They know they tore you apart. They remember all of the things that they did to fuck with you at this point. And I feel like they're thinking about how good you were to them, even though they were doing fucked up shit. They, they realize how good that you actually were as a person, okay? Um, what else is this? I know I tore you apart. What other information can you give me? What other clarity can you give me about the six of cups starting angels? Wow. Nine of swords. Damn. It didn't want to go back in. They said, take it. This is keeping them up at night. They are grief stricken at this point. I feel like this person is up crying. This person is thinking about they're They're literally waking up in cold sweats out of dreams that they have about you, about their children, about this life that they pretty much shit it on, okay? What is this muted energy? What well, yeah, they're that look, the two of cups at the back before I start, you see that that's what they're keep staying up at night about. They're staying up about the commitment that they broke. Okay, what's this muted energy, guardian angels? What's this muted energy? Queen of Cups, right? Because Queen of Cups is here. Because the, you, they know that you're not talking to them right now. They know you shut them out right now. This Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups is someone who I feel like gives love unconditionally. You were always there for this person. You were always there to pick this motherfucker up when they was dragging their little funky, ugly ass feet on the ground. 
and they now feel a gap. They feel at a loss. What's the Queen of Cups, Guardian Angels? What's the Queen of Cups? They feel at a loss because now they don't have that. They don't have that person telling them, hey, it's going to be okay. Just because boss man got on you at work doesn't mean you're not a good worker. Just because some things, yeah, it's a burden to them. And they, they were becoming a burden to you, right? Because you weren't getting what heartbroken. You're feeling heartbroken about this situation. They, they broke your heart and now they are feeling this pain. They broke your heart and now they are feeling this pain with the three of swords, okay? And now they got stuck. I feel like they got caught either dealing with other people, okay? Or, because that's always the situation nowadays, folks dealing with other people. I don't see a lot of third-party energy right here. I just think that the way they treated you and talked to you was fucked up. And when you constantly were coming back to them with love, they were constantly coming to you, breaking your fucking heart every single time you tried to show them love. And now this person is looking from your side. Oh, wow. I really did treat collective this way. I really did fuck with this person's mental space and now that's why they're in this nine of swords energy and they're up at night thinking about all the ways that you fucked with them i mean that they well shit think about all the ways that they fucked with you which is now fucking with them y'all know what the fuck i'm talking about okay i'm sorry i'm trying not to cuss too much they def i definitely see this person wanting to apologize you want to have clear communication with them because this was a burden you were giving everything you had with this queen of cups and it became a burden on you that you had to walk away from. You got all your shit and all your furniture and you left. Or you told this person to get the fuck out. But either way, you guys are not talking right now with this muted energy. You want to receive the same love from them that you give out. And that's point blank, period. And if you're not going to receive that, it's always going to be a burden on you. You're always going to feel this pain. If you haven't walked away from this person yet, you're deciding to. And that's what I feel, honestly. Um, let's do some yes or no questions. Let's, we'll do one yes or no question for you guys. You guys get your questions ready. Ultimately, I just feel like this person regrets how they treated you. And now that's why they're watching you. They're watching you in the situation. They're trying to get to the bottom of what they need to do. They're feeling this thrill. Swords, heartbreak, okay? Okay, so guardian angels, what is the answer to my collective question? Guardian angels, what is the answer to their question with the twin flame check-in? Three two one okay the answer is no all right you guys so i hope this reading has helped you guys this has been your twin flame check-in y'all be sure to like share and subscribe and remember to stick to the positivity today be blessed and let no one steal your joy bye Mwah.